Oregon. To Southern Oregon. She's got some family down Still there. Still have that. She stayed there. You know, she was there for a little while, and yeah. she made some multiple visits to Southern I Oregon Speedway. I remember that as a kid. Like, mm -hmm. it, that's pretty cool, the helmet thing. Yeah. You still have that helmet. I still have the sign. It's a sign. Oh, and the it's sign. It's hanging in my. I have a Go fast, turn here. left. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. That's and it's autographed by multiple drivers. Yeah, with the numbers and everything. That's cool. Pretty crazy. And that was 16 years ago. It was a long time ago. I'd like to see the names on that. Yeah. I would. Good times. I would like to see the names on Back that. Back when everybody time. parked in the middle of the track. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was like the coolest thing to go down as a kid. I'm like, I'm going in the middle of the track. It's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That that that's those days. And you don't see a lot of racetracks do that anymore. No. Well, it was like it's like at Birmingham International when I was a kid. You know, they parked inside. But why don't they do it now? What's the safety? Biggest? Yep. Safety. Yep. And and I get it as as a track owner or promoter. I get it. Safety, which means. Less insurance claims, you know. It's just it's an overall, an overall better thing for the teams. Yeah. What sucks about that is the fans that don't get that part of the show anymore. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and and the drivers do get more room now. It used to be you'd have to pull out through your shark what? trailer, <laughs> offload, take unload, door to door, door. Out, right, door to door. You know. Yeah. yeah it was such a pain. Yeah. And I remember those days when I was racing. Well, and when the worst part about it was at the end of the night. Everybody yep. wants to be the first car to load up and yep. leave. Everybody makes a bum rush to their trucks and trailers, pulls out, and then you got a traffic jam in the pit area and nobody can go anywhere. <laughs> then you sit there longer. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. I remember those days. I mean, as good as it was for the fans, it was <laughs> end of the night was that bad for the teams, you know. But it is what it is. Um, lids for kids, drivers, listen to me. If you want to donate a helmet, we would greatly appreciate it. We will make sure that – that money goes to a good cause to help a kid, you know. Um, that's something that we, that we take pride in here at Moxie. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk about I, – I made a post on Moxie mm -hmm. Monday morning, Sunday morning. I don't remember. Whatever day it was. Because, you know, when we, go, when we go to the racetrack and we're coming home, you know, it's Saturday kind of bleeds, in, bleeds into Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Much. Yes, it does. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, I was I, I was so pumped Saturday because I was I was doing something that I thought was going to be grand scale, grand turismo style, and then come to find out that technical problems let me down. And, but, okay, so, and I owe you an apology because I went and I deleted those simply because. The video, it would film. It, you might have an hour video, and it was a minute and a half long because it would just cut, 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 cut. And it was almost like quick little highlights that you didn't even intend to do because the, the signal would cut out and it would catch. And Well, it wasn't the signal cutting out. It was the upload speed. It's or the upload speed, and, and I call them uh, baskets. Mm -hmm. you, you know, and you have, you have these cache speeds, and, and you have these groups that are uploaded on the Internet. And what it'll do, it'll it'll group a whole bunch of bunch of info together and 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 send it, and it's sending those groups one right after another. I mean, faster than we can imagine. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, you know, and and Dave gave us a phone with a hotspot, mm -hmm. and I wanted I actually the reason I was kind of disappointed and I wanted to watch the race because you know up there filming the race and and doing or not filming it but doing the download and we're live. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, that was, oh, that was an accomplishment for me because, you know, a couple of races ago, we went live and we had video. Right. Which was unheard of. You're right. That was my insight last year. Mm -hmm. That was my big goal and for it, this it year. It will be done. Oh, it'll be it done. just, we didn't have the right equipment for whatever reason. It decided to act all goofy last Saturday. Well, so I saw this and I went in and said, Ugh. and I, and I, instead of taking the link and sending it to Ed, I just deleted it. And I got up all excited, and it's like, "What happened to the videos?" And I like, saw videos. that. <laughs> but I, if I, I wanted, I would have really liked to been able to see one of them. But there is so many things that I can change on, as far as the drone goes. If we go live, mm -hmm. I can bump it down, bump the resolution down, so it's not so many bits. Because you know, but that's some good resolution, though. Yeah, I mean, we're we're talking now. I don't want to get technical. Yo. But we say we're we're shooting. Uh, 2.4K. 
at 16 megabytes per second. Okay. 30 frames, 30 frames per second, 16 megabytes per second. <clears throat> I can drop it down to where we go down to 8 megabytes per second and run 1080p, which is still really high definition. But you can also yeah. get down to the phone, which only needs 760. Yeah. And that's what I was. That. Let's keep that going. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, but the problem is if somebody's got their computer hooked up to their big widescreen 65 yeah, inch, it'll pixelate well. so bad they'll go, who the crap did this? Right. Yeah. You know? But I, I mean, it was it was disappointing for me in a way, but uh, once we get a good upload, mm -hmm. I think we'll be fine. I mean, we've got it figured out. Well, we've got it figured out now. We've got the equipment, yeah. so we just got to get it working. Yeah. But I just wanted to say, you know, sorry guys, I did my best, but we'll do better. And it wasn't anything you did. It was just no. It but was, it's not up to our standards, right. and I understand and why you did it. That's yeah. you know, yeah. I understand, but you know, it was like. I was all pumped up because we talked it. about it all the way home, and I've seen people down in the stands with their phones out, and they're watching because Corey was telling them, jump on Moxie Media, and you see this live. And, man, all of a sudden, all these phones lit up. Well, it's and funny. it wasn't just the phones right in the in stands. It was yeah. It was uh, everywhere. Yeah, they were everywhere. Um, but we're going to get this ironed out. We'll get it ironed out. Well, we're going to be – we'll do well at the Bud Nationals. Um, advertising opportunities for that broadcast are still open. We do have some opportunities for if you want to advertise your company on the national broadcast from the Budweiser Nationals at Bakersfield, contact us. We'll put together a package for you and get your commercial on the show and get it on the Bud Nationals uh, broadcast from Bakersfield as well. Um, and if there's sponsors out there that would mm -hmm. like to see and have a spot, have a video of their driver in yep. their car, on the track, in the track, around the track, you come to us, tell us what we want. We'll make you a package. We will. Yeah, we absolutely will. Definitely It'll be make a, you a great package. video that you can approach other sponsors with yep. or, you know, packages for a sponsorship on your car. Advertising opportunities available right here on West Coast Wide Open. We've got uh, we've got plenty of room for commercials. So if you guys want to advertise on the show, get a hold of us. It is not expensive. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's, it's going to be uh, – but Nationals is going to be a big deal. Yeah. We've always We're always full with that one. You know, we always – people – buying a lot of advertising space on that on that broadcast so and the drone's going to be live the drone will be yeah doing with some really cool things up there so <clears throat> um saturday night looking forward to it i tell you what me too since we had such a good race on those pro stock mm -hmm. i'm gonna go home and it might not be tomorrow <laughs> it might be friday afternoon friday afternoon be perfect. i'm gonna put that race up okay just like I did on the late model race. Yep. I'm going to put that up mm -hmm. with some highlights in it. And we have some in-car cameras that I need to get the cards tonight. And we'll take those home, and I'll try to make a full, as much of a full, complete race as I can get on there without waiting 29 and a half hours to get it downloaded <laughs> or uploaded. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. I'll get, I'll get that that pro stock race put on. I think that the Friday. fans would love to see that one. Oh, yeah. I would love to sit back and watch that. I would like to see it again, just, too. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Phenomenal. Um, Gary, happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, thanks, birthday boy. Big birthday yesterday. It was a big one. Milestone birthday. Do you want to talk about it? What are you, 22? Mm. 29. <gasps> 29. <gasps> Dang, he's fixing to be an old man here in a year. 29 huh? was a long God. time ago. I know it was, wasn't it? Corey and I are just uh, apart in age by, what, three months? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. 29, my yeah. honey. I think Corey's got me by three months or I so. I do. February. Yeah, February. Mine's July. I'm old enough to be Corey's daddy. So. That's terrible. And your daddy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and your daddy. We're <laughs> the same age. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I, I turned 45. He's 45. Yep. I've got a son 45. Yeah. Yep, so um, – from all of us, I, hey, the post uh, was popular. You got a lot of fans Jeez, out there. I couldn't believe that. Very yeah. cool. Glad to see it. Thank you, everybody. Uh, which uh, kind of helped out. He had a rough day at work yesterday. You know, oh, being yeah. you know in the it's his busy time of year. It, it, it's he's in the pool industry. Yeah. And uh, you know it, it's summertime and hot, and and he's got a lot on his plate right now. But uh, you know, every time I opened up my notifications on. It was Facebook a Gary. Gary. <laughs> I know Gary. It. Gary. I don't know, Gary. Like, and I go, well, what's new today? Well, Gary. Well, here, here's, Gary. Gary. <laughs> here's what's funny. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I posted it, right? Happy birthday, Gary, from the staff here at Moxie Media. We appreciate you. And I mean that. I do. I mean that. But when the first notification came in, then the second, <laughs> then the third, I'm sitting there and I kind of laughed and I said, 
oh, man, this team is going to hate me today. <laughs> it was just notification after notification. Uh, well, here's funny. the deal. My phone, um, I've got two phones. i got a work phone and i got my personal phone that I do all my, my, my Facebook and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so that phone was off and away. Yep. And yesterday was a really rough day, about 2, 2.15 2. or so. I decide I'm going to go outside. I'm going to sit in the sun. And I'm just going to take chill. a browse. Man. Just chill. chill so out. I took 20 minutes, just sat there. I usually don't take breaks or lunches. I just keep going. And I sat there, and I'm just trying to gather my marbles from the day that was just defeating me. Right. I, I went home feeling defeated still. But if it wasn't for everybody with their birthday wishes that I looked at it to to 215 and started I loving all, I was just, you. wow. Yeah. That was amazing. That was cool. And it really made my day. It helped me get through the rest of my it's day. It's nice to know. It yeah. Get through my evening. It was terrible, you know, birthday, but it was really good in the end. It really <laughs> was. And, you know, it was first world problems with, with everything I had going on at work. Not a big deal. And those are rough. You those know, first it, world problems. It, it happens. You know, it was a rough day. But I pulled through it today. Had an excellent day. I accomplished what I felt like I needed to accomplish. Got the mm-hmm. big weight off my chest. Here I am today. And I'm in a much better mood. Well, you know, sometimes you just get to get up and walk away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. then you come back and everything is. Right. The light bulbs go off. You know, if you're having that problem, I've had that. You know, you just, you get so frustrated. Mm-hmm. And you're 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 so into it that you can't see the trees <laughs> for the leaves. Yeah. And you just have to get up, walk away, recollect yourself, and come back. And all of a sudden, whatever you've been looking for, sometimes it'll just be right there. Drivers, are you paying attention? <laughs> it, definitely, it definitely puts it back into perspective, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, stepping back for a few minutes is all it took. Yeah. You know, and it was able to help me complete my day and, and, and sure. handle it all. So you know, I thank got, you, everybody. Uh, I like I like that one comment on that one. I can't remember who it was that made the comment on that post that I made on Moxie. He come back. And he says, "You know," he said, "It's just like a race car. First yep. time out, you got to shake it down. That's right. Find out what's going on with it, but you know what you got. Right. So, and that's true. It's there's the bugs with yeah. everything you do like that. And um, we're getting to the two hour mark, and we're going to wrap it up at at eight o'clock. Um, I want to make another mention here on the fundraiser for the Dawson Rose Memorial Fund. <clears throat> um, if you guys can't attend Southern Oregon Speedway this Saturday and you want to help out, I know we've talked about this. There's a post on Moxie. You can find it. It's got a picture of little Dawson and, and three shots of the helmet, three different angles to show you the autographs. Um, if you can't attend and make a donation in, per- in person, you can actually go to your credit union. Okay. Go to your credit union. And you can transfer funds and get your pen and paper out. And this is this is in the post, but um, you can actually go to your credit union and transfer funds to account number six three four two zero nine at Oregon State Credit Union, or you can actually just go into an Oregon State Credit Union and make a donation directly into that account. Um, <clears throat> if you do make a donation, please private message us on the Moxie Media Facebook page. Um, with the confirmation date and the amount, and we're going to enter you in. So you don't have to be present to win the helmet, but we're, if you make a donation and send us the confirmation, we're going to give you a ticket to be entered into that drawing to win that helmet. So if you, if you like the helmet you see on there and you want to help out with a with a great cause, um, please, it's really simple. Go to your credit union or go into an Oregon State credit union and – Make your donation to account number 634209, the Dawson Rose Memorial Fund. Again, go to Moxie Media Promotions. Check out that Facebook page, uh, the post with the helmet. You'll see it bright, fluorescent yellow, fluorescent orange. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty awesome cause. You know, we're, we're honored to help. I know the family, uh, again, very, very grateful, honored for what the racing community has done for them. And, um, they they actually in that in that meeting lifted my spirits. I didn't know what to expect coming in. I know that and I just put myself in those shoes. And I can't imagine. I can't imagine that heartbreak, you know. I'm, my my wife has experienced that. Um I I it's just one of those things that it, you do put yourself in that position and it just it tears you up inside. And, you know, the, <clears throat> for me personally, it, it, it's tough because these are actually friends of mine that lost their granddaughter and their daughter. And anything I can do to help a friend, you know, especially those in the racing community, 
because we, we stick together. Uh, the response at Southern Oregon Speedway 